don't find fault, find a remedy. That's a quote by Henry Ford. Some of you may know that on October 14th, just a few weeks ago, the club chose to have the executives look at a motion and come back to the club with their findings so that a decision can be made. The motion was to have the parliamentarian role, which evaluates the first half of the meeting, solely evaluate the business session and have the general evaluator evaluate everything else. The club officers were unable to discuss and come up with a decision, and this really um, upsets me. And over the last uh, <coughs> few weeks and, and few days, I've been questioning my own leadership and questioning my position as president. And I feel that I'm going to take a little time away from the club just so that I can evaluate my effectiveness uh, as a leader. As the club leader, I am to encourage and to motivate others to accomplish their goals and the mission of the club. And I feel that maybe I've been uh, a little unsuccessful and need to review that. Now with officers meetings, we hold officers meetings once a month. And in June it was decided we would do it on the first Sunday of every month. So we all know when the officers meetings are. Except for December, I felt with family and, and holidays we would take off December. And we met this Saturday at 5.30 p.m. However, there was only three officers out of the eight officers there. Uh, Krupa was there, but unfortunately he had resigned. Um, but he was still there to give us guidance and leadership in his role. And in order for the executive to make decisions, there needs to be a quorum, which means 50% plus one, and with eight officers, we needed to have five officers there. And that is so that we can conduct business on behalf of the club. And unfortunately, without a quorum, we weren't able to discuss the parliamentarian role. We weren't able to discuss things like having a joint meeting with Brampton, or holding an area contest, or planning our potluck. And some other important information that needed to be shared with the members of the executive wasn't shared and brought up to the club. And to avoid discussions and decisions until January, when our next meeting would be, I recommend that we have a meeting in December so that we can discuss some of these things that are important to the operation of the club. When the executive first met in July, that's when the Toastmaster year starts, we came up with some values and some principles. And recently I had to remind myself of these to make sure that I was leading properly. Can anyone tell me the values that the executive came up with? It's on the sheet if you want to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Just shout out the values. Improvement. Improvement, absolutely. Excellence. Uh, well, I don't see it, but it's a good one. Fun. <laughs> Fun. Reaching out. Perfect. Integrity. Positive learning. And professional. professional. Absolutely. And the principles that we came up with to make this easy, they all begin with trust. Transparency, transformation, and trust. Absolutely. Now, as president, and I reviewed these, and, and I really have been trying to lift these values and principles, I find it's my uh, responsibility to make sure that not only am I following this, but all of the executives in the club are, are on board with what our values and our principles are. One of the things that I'm always reminded is that in sports, you have a lot of talented athletes on the team. And if the team is really doing bad, it's the coach that they fire. They don't fire the players. Although you really would hope they do for Toronto Maple Leafs, but that's another story. <laughs> Preparing for these officers meeting does take a little bit of time for those that have been presidents. It's a six to, hour, six to eight hour process. And uh, this Sunday was a little bit more difficult. For those that heard my story about buying a cake for Bob Dye, I have very, a lot of difficulty buying things. And I purchased some gifts for the executive to recognize all their, achieve, all their um, things they have given to the executive and to the club this year. And these gifts were practical things that I felt really reflected their contribution to the club and what they are as, as people. And I was really excited about this. And then I received uh, an email, uh, another email Sunday about some officers not able to make it, sending their regrets. Um, then at the meeting, a few more uh, didn't come. And I started to feel um, really kind of upset. And I asked myself three questions at the end of the meeting. The first question I asked was, why wouldn't they come? The second question I asked was, why wouldn't they tell me? And the third was, if they didn't show up, at least let me know so that I 
can run the, the, the meeting the way that I need to. And my answer, and I thought really deep about this, was perhaps it's my lack of practicing these principles and communicating these principles and values to, to the executive and to the club. And as the president, I need to set the tone. And this is why I feel, and I'm going to evaluate my leadership, and, uh, and I always try my best to help all the officers the best that I can. And sometimes, and the officers can attend to this, I maybe go a little bit overboard and get a little bit um, too passionate about um, what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I have attended the, this will be my actual 66th uh, meeting in a row, and I was pretty proud of that, which makes it a little more difficult to say that I'm going to take a couple meetings off just to kind of evaluate uh, where I am as, as the president. Um, I, I truly believe that we need to respect each other and, and all of us work together to do uh, what we can for the benefit of all the club and all the members here. And together we learn and we grow, and that's why Hershaw is, is a very strong club. A lot of positive things have come out of the executive this year. Uh, and I must say we had some challenges and the executive have worked really hard. And for instance, membership. Uh, last year at this time it was 27 and we're now at 34. We have four DCP points, which is the gauge of how clubs are doing, and we're on track to get 10 out of 10. We also had our budget put together that will help us be sustainable as a club. Um, we moved from a deficit to a surplus. We moved rooms, which caused some problems and some adjusting periods. Uh, we had a very successful picnic with over 26 people there, members and guests. We've also conducted and revised uh, our induction ceremony. And our meetings uh, quality and attendance has, has been up. In 15 meetings that we've had so far, only five of them have had less than uh, 20 members attend. Uh, in comparison to last year's same period, we only had one time where 20 members or more attended. And I think that's a testament to all the hard work that's been put in from all of the officers, all of the club, uh, everybody moving forward uh, to make this club as successful as we, as we possibly can. I feel that uh, I need to take the next uh, two weeks off and I'll make sure that, that there is some help at the club level. And I'll work with Dennis as he is taking on uh, the new role, just so I can get a little bit of perspective and understand what it is as a leader that I would like to accomplish and to make sure that I am giving the best support and help that I, I can uh, to all the officers and to the club. And I will speak to each officer and, they, and we'll have feedback and we'll have a great dialogue in the next two weeks. I'll end with this quote, this is not me saying this. Uh, As a leader, I am tough on myself and raise the standard for every, everybody. However, I am very caring because I want people to excel at what they are doing so that they can aspire to be me in the future. Indra Noe.